We welcome you to our next battle, the Battle of Poitiers in 1356, yet another battle in the war against Sunday. Again we play Edward the Black Prince against King Jean the Second. I swear to god, one day I'm actually going to get these names right. Let us see what army will we field. Pretty similar to last time. Yeah, at least we, we've gained, gained a bit of valor. Even our peasants are a little bit better. We'll take that. Although, MVP last match. They were awesome. I <laughs> was not expecting it. Well, before we can enjoy that, though, let's have a little history. Ten years after his victory at Crecy, Edward the Black Prince was still campaigning in France. In 1356, an army under King Jean Le Bon of France caught up with an English raiding force near Bordeaux. Once again, the English proved themselves to be masters of selecting ground for a fight that suited them, not the French. The English longbows wreaked terrible damage and the French battles or divisions did not attack together. Surprised by an English counterattack, the French broke and fled, but their king was captured. Legend has it that after the battle, the chivalrous Edward served dinner to his chief captive, King Jean, before sending him back to the Tower of London to await ransom. It's actually one of the main things I loved about warfare back in the day. Of course it was bloody, of course it was terrible, we're 100% romanticizing it. The knights were just captured and ransomed, they're worth far, far more while alive, so it just made sense to, you know, stick them in a cell for a bit, give them a nice bit of tea. Send him on later. The player has to survive long enough in order to wait for reinforcements that will help them to defeat the French. Also, you must ensure that your general, who is Edward the Black Prince, does not get killed in battle. So we're actually just surviving. We're not really trying to win this. Interesting. I wonder if we can just run them around the battlefield. <laughs> Either way, let's give this a go. Right, game on. Well, welcome in to take one of this here battle of survival. And, I mean, why why are we in a farmer's field when there's a hill, like, right here? Don't tell me the enemy's on the hill with their wagons. Right, let's... Let's just grab everyone. Because, looking at the minimap, we can take the hill. Do not even bother with any of this rubbish. Right, when they're running... We are going to set these up. Longbows to the top. Spears. On the hill. It's probably going to mess us up in the forms of reinforcements. But uh, it's a risk. A risk we're willing to take. Come over here on this flank. King Chillin. And peasantry holding that flank as well. We've got peasants, peasants, spears. I mean, they got some pretty big units. And this cavalry, that does not look good. I think it will be worth keeping unit spears out on the flank. Don't do that. Every time you try to click a unit, you end up clicking your all units to move. There we go. I 
That does not look pretty. Right, so we're, we're just supposed to be chilling here and waiting for reinforcements. So I'm curious why they're not engaging. Bring these over, because the enemy is definitely pushing one side and not the other. Don't even know where to put these guys. I think we can bring spears over and leave a unit of men at arms over here instead. God. There we go. Right, the firing has commenced. The enemy is marching in. On your soldiers. Just gonna raise our heads a little. No enemy moving in yet. That is good. Right, you guys best be ready. As soon as this makes contact, we are gonna attack it in the flank. Cavalry still has not advanced. But their general is. Alright, Spears, do your thing. Keep an eye over here. Yeah, cavalry's starting to move in as well. Spearmen ready. Get our peasants ready and all. They're going to charge from the flanks. Let's get our cavalry coming over. Ready to charge these. I think actually that's a pretty nice shot right down here. What are these spears doing? Making it in? Go for it. Right, they broke through, but they haven't actually broken the soldiers. That's literally just the gap has built that much from sheer quantity of men trying to get in on them. Go, peasants. Go, you mighty peasants. Right, now they're starting to break. Don't really want to risk the general. Might end up having to. Firing on them. They're all running. It's firing on this big old blob. Let's get our, our general chasing things down. We can finish them off. Looks like our cavalry just joined us. Come on over. Yeah, they're all getting smashed. Perfect. Uh, cavalry still hasn't made it in, unfortunately. Very used. Turn quickly. Excellent. Remains of our cavalry all charging in over there. Our general fighting the remains. Yep, yeah, let's get our cavalry charging through. Learn, knock all them out. We're just going to double down all our archers now on the enemy, attacking the leader. 
Oh no, yeah, you keep on that. They are dead the second they turn round, but if they can actually keep them breaking, that would be perfect. <laughs> Our cavalry is just swarming in. Excellent. Oh, come on in. Absolutely hammer them. What's that? Just all longbows? That's okay. Two the knights. Then on them. Start breaking these up a little. Didn't even need to. The enemy general reveals Broke his our peasants. Colors as a coward. Broke our please. peasants. Not our peasants. I think we have this one unit left. Uh, longbows continue to fire upon the enemy. And we have some crossbows over here. Let's go knock these out. Any other units? Yep, you get in there. Done. That was an incredibly easy match. It's actually making me a little scared when we do this as France. Excellent, though. The stand firm, rally any who flee. Not even needed. Well then, another victorious battle in our war on Sunday. It only took us eight and a half minutes, give or take. Glorious indeed. Glory to the king. Till next time, as always, peace out.